Hey guys and welcome back and I hope everybody's doing well today. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to apologize for the terrible quality of this video. Um, as you can see, you can probably see the phone really well and what's on it, but everything else seems like really dim and dark. Um, so I do apologize. I am filming on my iPad, so it is not the greatest quality, um, but it gets the job done. And I also want to apologize for not putting out a video in like two or three weeks. Um, but I just recently got a new job and just have been working a lot, so I do apologize for not putting out a video in such a long time. Um, but I want to thank you to everybody who has been subscribing and who has been commenting on my videos. It really means a lot to me, and I hope it keeps up. I'm almost at 100 subscribers, and I really didn't think I'd make it that far, but I did, so I just wanted to say thank you. And I guess we'll go ahead and dive into this video. So I have the Galaxy Note 5, um, the white, obviously. And I've had it for about a month now, and I've had several requests to do this video, so like I said, I apologize for not getting it out any sooner. <laughs> um, but this is the first page. Obviously not my home page, as you can see right there, that's where my home page is. But this is my first page I'm going to start with. So, as you can see, I have my Google bar up here, just a quick way to, um, you know, do Google searches, I guess. I don't know. Um, I keep it up there because it's just quick. And I also have my Google Chrome here, so like if I open a page here and I want to go back to it, I can just hit my Google Chrome there and it'll bring it back up. So I have my calendar, my clock, um, calculator, settings, then I have my Gmail. I have two different Gmails, my personal Gmail account, and then I have my YouTube Gmail account. And then I have um, Yahoo and the Play Store, which is where I get all my apps from. And then obviously my nice little flashlight here that makes it super bright, which I don't know if I really like it or not, so, but everybody needs a flashlight on their phone, just in case. And then I have my two health apps. This is obviously Us Health, which comes with the Samsung phones. And then I have Lose It, which is a good way to track my calories and track how many calories I burn in my exercise and stuff like that. So that's nice, but I really like S Health. It counts my steps. And that's really awesome because I walk a lot at work, so it's nice to be able to see how much miles I did. Um, so that's cool. Then I have a weather bug and ma Google Maps. I have the weather app that actually comes with the phone, but weather bug I think is a bit more accurate. Uh, so obviously that's my messages, my phone, my contacts, and my apps. And before I go any further, I just wanted to explain why my apps look like this and why the little page things look like that as well. Um, it's because of the theme that I have set with the new Samsung phones, um, the Galaxy S6, the S6 Edge, the S6 Edge Plus, and the Note 5. They all come with new themes. So if you go in the settings and you go down to themes, um, here's all the themes that I have downloaded. As you can see, um, this is the one that I had set before I filmed this video, but it was like a really bright and colorful and I just didn't think with my camera quality it would pick up very well so I went ahead and switched to something a little bit more duller I guess in color so you guys can actually see what's going on and not waste your time with this video but yeah this is the, um, the themes that I have selected you can go to the theme store here and download more if you don't like these ones obviously um, but it's just a way to make your phone look however you want it to look I guess it changes the way your text messaging looks, the way your keyboard looks, the way that your lock screen looks, everything. So it's really neat. Um, but that's probably like my most favorite thing about this phone. And I change my theme probably like every other day maybe. I don't download a new theme every other day, but I change my theme around all the time. Which is why I have a lot of them. Um, just to keep it, you know, switched up I guess. So then we'll go ahead and go to the next page. So on this page I have my Pandora up here. So I can just hit that and play and stuff. And I like that too because then I don't have to like get in the Pandora and then get out of Pandora and then get back in the Pandora and get out of Pandora to change the song or anything like that. I could just do it from there which is nice. So I have my camera and my gallery, photos and photo grid. Photo grid is just like um, an editing app for pictures and this is like the actual like photos app thingy that came with the actual phone. I don't really use it, but whatever. And then I have my 
backgrounds app here and Coco PPA. I don't really like really girly wallpapers or anything like that, but sometimes there is a, you know, a wallpaper on there that I do like. So yeah. And then I have Instagram and Snapchat. Um, Snapchat is something that um, I have it obviously, but I don't really use it, which is why I never mentioned it in any of my videos. But Instagram I do use. So if you ever want to check me out on Instagram, it is samwaydaw24. So yeah. And then this is just my little bar for my S Pen. This comes with the um, Note 5. So it's like quick links to that or whatever. Not really that important though. I just have it there just in case if I ever need it. Okay, and then for this page, I actually have my city's weather on here, so I don't really want to show that to anybody, <laughs> but um, I will go ahead and show you everything else that's on this page. So obviously there's my clock there, the date, um, and then obviously my weather was on this page as well. And the reason, like I said, that my clock looks this way is because of the theme I have set, so that's really neat. On this page, I have my social media accounts. So I have Facebook and Facebook Messenger. That is my personal Facebook. I do not have one for my channel. Um, if I do decide to get one for my channel, I will let you guys know. But until then, I do not have a Facebook right now for my channel. And my personal Facebook, I do not want to share. So I do apologize for that. Um, here is YouTube and Google Plus and Kick. You guys can always message me on Kick if you have any questions, any video requests, anything like that. Uh, my username is SammyDawn24on, I believe. So then over here is Twitter, and then this is Unfollowers app, which basically helps me keep track of who unfollows me on Twitter or Instagram because people on Twitter are notorious for you know following you and then like a day later after you follow them back they unfollow you which is why you're not supposed to follow everybody who follows you you're only supposed to follow people that you actually want to like communicate with but because I'm so nice I like to follow certain people who are like new youtubers just starting out but they don't always return the favor down here I have my music box Obviously, Eminem Rap God's on here right now. <laughs> um, I like that song, but if you literally go into my music, there's like a bunch of different songs in here, but I'm not going to do that right now because I don't feel like opening it right now. But that's my music box. Okay, so on my fourth page, I have my Verizon Mobile, Voicemail, KeyBank, and Bank of America, and then I have Uber down here, Eat24, and Peapod. Um, Everybody knows what Uber is. It's just that driving service that's becoming like really huge now and everybody uses it. Obviously those are like my voicemail and my Verizon Mobile so I can pay my bills and stuff like that. And then of course my banks that I use. And then E24. Everybody knows what E24 is because that's how you get your food when you're hungry. And then Peapot is actually an awesome app. It is a way that I can order my groceries online and have them delivered. Um, not having a car it makes it very complicated to get groceries because then you got to get all these groceries into a car and then wait for a cab or wait for an Uber and then have the Uber take you home or have somebody else take you to the store, which you don't want to be a bum and be like, hey, can you can take me to the grocery store. So you use Peapod to get your groceries delivered to you, which is really awesome. All right, so on my last and final page, it is my game page. So I have Angry Birds, Solitaire, and what if you guys probably already know what angry birds is and solitaire but what if it's just an app where it asks you like different questions and then it'll show you like the percentage of how many people said this and how many people said that um that's okay it's not like a super fun game that i play all the time i just downloaded it to see what it was like and it's been on there ever since um i have five nights at freddy 4. if you guys are on youtube a lot especially in the gaming community you guys probably already know what five nights at freddy is is that really creepy game where the teddy bear and bunny and stuff, they're all after you. Obviously this is like four, and it's just like a little free app that you can get. It's okay, I guess. Not really, though. Agario is actually an, a game that I saw my friend, um, who's also a YouTuber. Hey, it's me, Chris. I saw her playing this on one of her videos. And it's actually pretty fun, but I don't really play it that much. But, yeah. Then I got Mahjong. I think that's how you say it. Um, and then this game, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but it's a little cat game. You put different things in your yard and you attract cats. 
I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. So this is what it is. You just put like beds and little balls and yarn and food. And then you can attract kitty cats to your yard. And it's really kind of boring. And I only get on here like once every like five hours, six hours maybe. Probably not even that. Sometimes I don't even get on in a day. But that's that. And then of course my last game that I have on here is Bejeweled. I love Bejeweled. I've loved it since it came out. It's a really fun game to play, and this is like the full version, so like you can play different versions of it on this on this one. So yeah, so that is what's on my Galaxy Note 5. Alright guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it wasn't the most exciting video, um, but I did get a lot of requests for it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it at least a little bit. The case that I have on right now is just that stupid hot pink one that I told you guys about in my unboxing video um, so yeah I hope you guys did enjoy this in some way <laughs> um, and I guess I will see you guys in the next one if you guys like this video please hit the like button down below if you have any questions comments or complaints uh, leave them in the comment section below and also please do not forget to subscribe for more alright guys I'll see you guys later bye bye